Hey, hey, okay, so we're back. I am going to give you a quick little tour of the wedding room and um, we have a little bit of a project that we're going to do. So, so this is the wedding room. Um, the wedding room is located in Des Plaines, Illinois, and it is in um, an office park or an office building actually. So this is what it looks like. It's a very traditional office building. And so um, when I have larger weddings, I use this because I want them to feel like it's a traditional wedding. So I will typically take this and you'll see where I take it. But this is what it looks like. And this is just a little... This is my office. So this is what this looks like. So when I meet with clients for the first time and stuff like that, all of my printers, because like I said, I was a loan signing agent, believe it or not, I have two more printers at home. <laughs> One kind of printer overboard. And so typically, if I were going to have a wedding, this would be somewhere like this because this is where the wedding room really starts. And um, yeah, so this is how everything looks as is. Obviously, those are lights. Um, as of right now, this room, um, I have set up like a little lounge, but I'm not really using it as a lounge. So we, we have a project for this today. Um, this is just storage area, and this is one of the smaller wedding rooms. So this is what it looks like, and I have lights behind there as well. And then this is the larger wedding room. So I, I put so much work into this one. And because I really wanted it to look like a little chapel. And I just let in their lights behind there, too. And then the candles um, light up. So this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like from this view. So your guests are there. So it's I do elopements with a traditional kind of vibe or whatever you would want to call it with traditional elements. Okay. So in gearing up for car life and RV life, um, I need to kind of make some changes. Currently I am renting a storage unit. Okay. So currently I am renting a storage unit. Um, and it's costing $65 a month, but there's really no need for me. And it's a smaller one. And right now it's just like a bunch of empty boxes, just like some miscellaneous, um, like memorabilia type stuff. So it's like, I have this entire office. Why am I paying $65 a month for storage? So this room will no longer be a lounge because I don't really use it as a lounge. I think I've had one wedding where the bride and groom utilize this space. Other than that, in all the weddings that I've done, nobody uses this. So I'm gonna turn this into my office. I mean, turn this into my um, storage unit. No need to pay $65 a month if I don't have to, right? But that means some of this stuff needs to come out. So that's what we're doing today. And we're gonna start with, Okay, and remember I told you guys, as my friend um, Anthony would say, so if you like um, car life, van life, RV life type videos, check out um, Life with Anthony. I think that's what he calls his channel, Life with Anthony, um, because he's one of my inspirations to want to get you know back into to RV life. Actually... I was already doing RV life and car life when I found him, 
but he's my inspiration to want to put it on YouTube and share my journey and my experiences with people. Um, so if you haven't checked him out, check him out, Life with Anthony. Um, I think he calls his group like the FOAs, um, which I am an FOA and actually, and when, um, I actually did my longest road trip. I drove to Philadelphia. He had a meetup and I drove to Philadelphia to meet him at the meetup. And if I can, I'll find the picture of him and I, and I'll post it at the end. Like if I can figure out how to like attach it. Um, so yeah, anyway. So, like my, my friend Anthony says, there's no fancy editing around here. So, this little camera, you're going to be propped up and you're going to be moving around with me a lot. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to move this and this. Now, this, all of this actually, the reason I love the wedding room is because doing weddings and marriage and love and all of that, it's so personal to me. So this trunk is a gazillion years old. It weighs a ton because it's solid wood from like back in the day and it belonged to my grandmother on my father's side. And these... And that bowl and pitcher, handmade by the same grandmother who I have the trunk from. And, whoa! So this is a card from my paternal grandmother and grandfather. They wrote this to my parents. And... So this was written back in 1974. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. Disagreement, there will be many. Just don't lose your cool. Work them out. Respect for one another must always be maintained. Never be too shy or stubborn to tell each other of your love for one another. And love is like underlined. You'll find if you give as well as take, it will balance the scales. Your mother and father-in-laws welcome you and yours to the Samuels family. So this is what I was brought up in. And I'm not saying my parents had a perfect marriage and we weren't like a little house on the prairie or whatever. But this is what I grew up with. This is, this is love for me. This is, this is marriage. And it's just so cool. And both of my grandparents um are gone now but it's just so cool to be able to have this in here because this is this was 1974 and this message still applies to marriage today anyway okay so one of the things that i like to do for let's just talk and start moving so one of the things where are we gonna put you let's maybe because i want to I want you to see what I'm doing without having to. I don't, I don't know. You know what, I need to find, I need to find, um, like a camera that like moves with you or is on wheels or something. That's what I need. Anyway, so I like to provide these little faux bouquet options for my brides because not everybody wants fresh flowers not everybody can afford fresh fresh flowers and some people are allergic to flowers so i like to provide some options you know i try to be a full service wedding operation here and originally I was like, yeah, I will, you know, it's gonna be a full service company where I marry you and I can notarize your documents. But in all the times that I've done weddings, I've only 
notarized stuff for one couple and they had like a um kind of like a prenup that they were doing and they wanted me to notarize that for them so and that was that was a cool moment just because that was kind of how I envisioned this whole thing but that just didn't pan out with the notary stuff that's why I don't know if I want to renew it or not um okay so this thing ugh. let's move this out i don't have to move everything out of this whoa this room but you know most of the stuff I will probably move out though. because my other thought process is sorry that is squeaky okay so let's do that and then so that's cool so now when brides come in from when they walk in they'll now be able to see themselves so that's pretty cool um, and then I hope it looks cute on camera. That looks so cute in person. Okay, I already like that. I already like it. So fine. And then garbage goes there. And quite honestly, like what else do I really need to move out of here? Because if this room is just going to be storage, oh, you know what else I think I'm going to do? I think instead of... Instead of having this set up for no reason... I had one couple... They had what I would consider a micro wedding here. So... She had maybe about eight or nine guests. They, you know, had the wedding. Her father actually walked her down the aisle. They played the music. Um, and then after the ceremony, they did a champagne toast and people gave speeches and um, they utilized the second room that I have over there. They utilized that room to um, have like appetizers and stuff like a little charcuterie board. And then after the wedding, when the guests were still mingling, the couple went into the lounge, the only couple to use the lounge, they went into the lounge to just kind of like hang out and decompress. So that was really cool to see the entire office being utilized. Um, and then when I have a big wedding like that, I will give the guests these little note cards so that they can w write well wishes to the couple. Um, because I know I sound like a commercial, but it's like I created the wedding room because I feel like it shouldn't cost an arm. It shouldn't cost a fortune to get married. Right. Like love is free. So, you know, 
why why does it have to cost you thousands and thousands of dollars to make that love official you know what I mean so I created this for people that wanted to have the traditional elements of a wedding, they wanted to be able to have a room to take pretty pictures in and wear a pretty dress and stand under an arch and walk down an aisle and carry a bouquet, maybe have a champagne toast. Like, I wanted people to be able to have that opportunity without it costing a lot of money. So, that's what this space is for. Anyway. That was a little bit of a tangent, but I just wanted to kind of explain what the wedding room was since you guys are hanging out with me here today. I just wanted to kind of explain what it was so that you would get it. Um, so that's that. So that's what the wedding room is. The reason I am... Trying to figure out how to explain it so so that you know you're not confused and lost in my content um, I am in the process of going from living in traditional housing to doing car life slash RV life and because I'm doing that, I will utilize this office as a second hangout spot for me. So this middle room will no longer be for my couples. That's going to be my personal space. I'm going to use it for storage. I'm going to use it just for hanging out. So nobody's going to be in there now but me um, when I start doing car life again. As I continue to make these videos, it'll all start to make sense. I promise. I promise. So if I lost you in this video, just just stay with me in the videos to follow. You know, um, it'll all start coming together. Okay. But for now, we are going to, the only thing I don't like, is I hate how this kind of looks down here, but let's try to ugh. And after I play this video back I might end up just doing a voiceover if I sound too confusing and I lose you, you know, okay Okay. I don't I don't think I like that. Like I want to utilize this corner
don't know. Ooh. Ooh, okay, wait, hold on. Do I want to... Do I want to do this? Nope. I'm not liking that either. I don't know. I have to finish, I gotta figure out this corner a little bit more. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I want to do it. I, what I might end up doing is um, I might end up taking this and putting it in that corner. Okay, let's just do that real quick and then and then I think we'll call it a day. I think we're good. So that's that little corner. I think that looks good. You want to see what it looks like with the light? There. It's just a way to kind of dress that corner up a little bit. Extra seating. I think that looks really good. Okay, yeah, we like that. And then we gotta put away all these chairs, but I like this. I think that's gonna be great, having that right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. Um, so this is what I was talking about. So as a bride is coming in, she'll be able to see herself. And if she doesn't have flowers and she thought she wouldn't be able to have any at the last minute, she can grab one of those before she walks into the room. And then walk down the aisle. Dun, 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 Um... All right, this is good. This is good. So now in here, I have all of this extra room for storage. So that is fantastic. And then I'm going to keep the couch in here because this is a great place for me to lounge. Um, 
once I, you know, start doing car life again. And, uh, yeah. So, thank you so much for hanging out today and um, sharing in my journey. We got some stuff done, so this was good. And I am going to get some water and um, figure out what my next move is. So, have an amazing rest of your day. Thank you for hanging out. And um, I look forward to sharing more of my journey with you oh so i i think how's this for a name living simply and abundantly living simply and abundantly i don't know i i don't know <laughs> talk to you guys later subscribe and like and ring the bell or click the bell if you want to get more of these videos when they come out so thanks for watching have an amazing day